Wow. I would definitely make that again. What's right, Ben YouTube? Hey, I just got back from Homestead this weekend. And I got a lot of mangoes and a few different jackfruit. I got a couple on the ground over there that are ripening. This one right here is a young jackfruit. Um, this one came down kind of as a volunteer. It was attached to one that we harvested and it just came off with it. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut this one up and use it to make jackfruit carnitas or jackfruit fajitas, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'll show you how right now. So the first thing that I need to do is cut open the jackfruit. Um, now jackfruit, when they're fully ripe, may or may not have latex, which is a sticky white substance inside the fruit. Um, when they're unripe, you can almost guarantee it's going to be sticky in there. Um, so what we have to do is we use coconut oil. Um, on our hands and on the knife just to make sure that we don't just get totally glued into this fruit um, as we go. So in this case, all I do is take the knife, I dip it in the coconut oil, wipe it around pretty generously, wipe it on my fingers, and that's pretty much how I, how I get started. Um, you'll also notice I'm using a cutting board with newspaper. Um, basically any disposable surface is, is the best thing for, for dealing with jackfruit just because it can be really messy and it's not that fun to clean up if you have a lot of things to clean up. I don't mind cleaning one knife, but you know, cleaning a cutting board and a counter and a, you know, six other things, just not that fun. So next thing I do, I've got the, the knife all oiled up. I'm just going to go ahead and give this thing a cut down the middle and we'll see what it looks like inside. I'm expecting this to be immature flesh on the inside. It should be white or pale or tan color. There shouldn't be any um, developed colorful meat on the inside. Um, so let's see what we get. Um, this is a relatively small jackfruit. Um, it probably had a long ways to go in its development. One thing about uh, when you oil your hands and you're holding a knife is just be careful because all of a sudden you're, everything's kind of slippery. So I'm kind of taking my time here. I'm rocking the knife through the, uh, the middle and you can see that's what I'm talking about, the latex. Um, it's just a fact of life when you're dealing with young jackfruit. Um, you can buy this stuff canned at the Asian grocery stores. I've never had it that way just because I can, I can get jackfruit. But if you live somewhere where it's just not available, that's another option. So this is a absolute sticky mess as far as I'm concerned. And at this point I'm like thinking again about do I even wanna mess with this. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm gonna use, uh, usually what I do at this point is I'll take some paper towels I've got some right here and just try to start soaking up what's what comes out immediately because it's almost like the latex just sweats out of it it's just kind of i think it's under some kind of osmotic pressure and when you open it up it just kind of seeps out of the whole thing but a lot of times if you soak it up the first couple times it comes out it'll just it'll finish it'll, it'll just kind of leak out what it's got and then it'll be done I'm gonna try that and see see how it goes. If it keeps going, maybe I'll just call this a failed mission, but I kinda wanna make something um, for 4th of July, so that's why I'm, why I'm putting this together. This is a, kind of a last minute idea, but let's see how it goes. Um, now this particular jackfruit, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, when I first cut it, it was white. It's already starting to oxidize, just like when you cut open an apple it looks white when you first cut it. If you leave it out, it'll turn brown. Same thing here. You can see it's already starting to turn tan. You can see the little immature seeds, little immature pockets of uh, flesh. There's the core there. Um, one of the cool things about 
cooking with jackfruit at this stage is that you basically can use all this stuff. You don't have to separate the rags and the arrows and the seeds like you do with a mature fruit. You can just basically cut it out of the out of the you know out of the shell, take the core out, and you can use the whole thing up, chop it up. Don't worry about the seeds; they're all soft. They're gonna cook down nice and soft. No big deal. Um, as you can see, I, I've already sopped up most of the uh, latex. There's a little bit more coming out, so I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute. Now at this stage, the jackfruit doesn't have a smell. It's just it's just kind of a benign, odorless, you know, it's basically used as a vegetable at this point. It doesn't smell like jackfruit, it doesn't smell like fruit at all. Um, very similar to if you were to open a uh, green papaya. You know, I'm sure you've, if you know papaya, you know how fruity they smell. You know what it's like when they're ripe. When you open an unripe one, it's pretty much white flesh, it's just a texture um, used to cook with. Uh, same thing here, it's, it, there's nothing really exciting about the flavor, it's more of a textural thing. Um, people say that it reminds them of like a pulled pork type consistency. Um, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. I don't eat pulled pork, so. Um, and I don't look for that texture, I'm just looking for different ways to use a fruit that is abundant in my area, so. All right, so. I'm gonna to try to soak up a little bit more of this latex before I cut into it. I'm noticing that most of it's coming out of the core, so I'm hoping if I cut the bottom, I'm hoping if I cut underneath here, I'll be able to take the whole thing out and then I can just kind of break it up and see how it goes. I haven't done this in a, probably haven't done this in about a year, so we'll see. We'll see if my uh, memory serves me. I'm gonna put a little more oil on the knife. Before I go in, coconut oil for the win. All right. So I'm just going to go up underneath. I'm just doing kind of a rocking motion here. And if you have a better way of cutting these up, I'd love to hear it. I'm always open to learning something new. I realize that my pulling the knife towards me is a bad idea. I realize that, so I'm gonna quit that in just a second, I promise. All right. Don't try this at home. <laughs> if I need to make a disclaimer, I guess, don't do it the way I do it. Be safe with the knife. All right. So there's, there's my big chunk. Kind of a funny looking deal because I cut off parts of the the seeds, but most of the latex, as I said, was in the core, so I'm not getting any, anything sticky out of the backside really. Um, there's the uh, the outer part. That's waste or compost, however you want to call it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the other pieces and move on to the next step. Cutting these pieces into little chunks. As far as I'm concerned, there's no right or wrong way to cut this up. You're just trying to make little pieces. So. Don't overthink it. Basically just taking the core out of it and then Chopping it up into little chunks. Alright, and so there we have all the cut up jackfruit. I'm just going to break this up and go to the next phase of the video. Alright, so now that I've got the jackfruit prepared, I'm just going to heat up, I've got a little bit of coconut oil in a pan. I'm going to put that on a medium-high heat. And uh, I was going to do jackfruit carnitas, but I don't really have the ingredients. So I'm going to switch it up and we're going to do uh, jackfruit teriyaki. So, see how that goes.
I'm just going to be using some teriyaki sauce from the store, very teriyaki. Um, I'm going to probably use a little bit of extra seasoning to taste. Um, add some sesame seeds. Probably a little bit of extra ginger, garlic powder. As you can see in our kitchen, we've always got something ripening. Right now we've got mangoes, a few different varieties. We've got a nice big, nice jackfruit. This one's probably gonna get opened up tonight or maybe this afternoon. I'll share that with some friends for 4th of July. Um, let's see if this is getting warm. Not quite. I'm going to go ahead and start tossing in the jackfruit pieces and breaking them up as I go just to help things move along. And basically I'm just going to do these as a quick saute. Um, if I had onions, I'd put onions in first, but I don't have any. Um, this is just a simple simple recipe, kind of like a little side, side dish for what we're going to be having. It's going to be kind of a potluck dinner. The reason I'm using the oil is to keep the jackfruit from sticking to the pan. Normally I don't use a lot of oil in cooking, but with jackfruit, it's just worth it to, it's just worth it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of sesame oil just because I like the aromatic effect of it. I always like using a little soy sauce. This is the one from the Asian grocery store. I think this is Vietnamese. Nuoc, Nuoc Tuong Che. I think that's Vietnamese. Um, that's the kind of soy sauce I like to use. It's not quite as salty. It has a different different flavor from the stuff you get, uh, like the Japanese style. And I just like it a lot better. So I don't take this as the only way you can cook jackfruit. This is just a way. This is an idea or an example. And if you're like me, I go on YouTube and I look for examples. I don't look for this is exactly how you have to do it. I look for ideas. Different seasonings I could use, different ways I could use to uh, prepare the ingredients. Um, so hopefully you get something out of this. Just gonna add a bunch of teriyaki sauce to it. If I had more, I probably would have put more in there. Add some extra garlic powder. Ginger powder. Sesame seeds. More soy sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric just for some color. I'm just going to place a lid over top um, and let it cook for a little while, turn it down a little bit, and we'll come back to it in about 10 minutes. All right, it's been, uh, I don't know, eight or, eight or 10 minutes. And I'm just checking on things to make sure we're in good shape. Um, it's looking pretty good. Has a great teriyaki smell. You know, I can't take credit for the teriyaki flavor because I didn't make that, but 
It's just one idea. I've made this as a curry. I've made this as a pulled pork barbecue. Um, I was going to do carnitas, like I said, but I don't have the ingredients for that, so I decided to do teriyaki. You can think of jackfruit as just, it's just another ingredient. It's just a medium. You can season it however you like, whatever cuisine you like. Um, basically, you're just cooking it to where it's tender and you're adding <coughs> whatever you know seasonings you like. Um, this is going to take a little longer, but I'm going to give it a little taste. It's already pretty good, actually. The little rags, the shreddy part in the middle is already edibly cooked. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit longer to make sure the thicker pieces get cooked up. And then, I may not even have to put it in the oven. This may be just fine the way I'm doing it right now, since this is such a small amount. And when I've done it in the past, I've, it's been larger fruit, so I've had to work in batches. But this is kind of working out pretty good the way it is. Um, so I'm going to put this back on for a little bit and check it in another. Alright, let's see what we have. It's been cooking for a little bit longer. Starting to get a, lot of, a little bit of brown. Looks pretty darn good. I'm going to add a couple of last minute ingredients. Um, just a little bit of red pepper flake. I have to be careful with this because my wife doesn't like it. I have to put this a little bit. You can always add some later. I'm going to add some more sesame seeds. And then, since I have it, a little bit of shredded carrot for more color and a little bit of sweetness. Okay, so that's ready to go there. I'm going to put the lid back on to get these carrots cooked up a little bit more. And then, like I said, we're out of town for the weekend, so we don't have a lot in the refrigerator. Um, we had a little bit of shredded carrots left, and we have a little bit of lettuce left. So what we're going to make is a jackfruit teriyaki salad. Basically, I'm going to put a little bit of this over a bed of lettuce. and. Um, that's it. It's going to be pretty good. Um, I'll show you here in just a second what it looks like. Alright, so we're almost done cooking the uh, jackfruit. I'm just going to head outside and grab a couple things for the salad. Um, I'm going to use some perennial vegetables in my salad. This one is called... This one is called Jewels of Opar. These leaves are nice and tender. Um, delicious, raw. I'm gonna pick some of those for the salad. Try to do it with one hand here. Some katuk. Next one's katuk. <laughs> Mosquitoes are getting me already. This one's really easy to pick. I just take a stem like that, and that's how I get them. Put those in the salad. Let's get a little bit more into the salad. enough for uh, for this little salad. I've got some uh, some mixed greens in the fridge as well so we'll have a mixture. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this you know baby spring mix whatever it is to the side of the salad. I've got my stuff from the garden here. I'm gonna use a little bit of lime on top as a dressing and let's get some jackfruit in this bowl. 
Looking pretty good. Probably be better if I let this stuff cool down a little bit for a salad, but it'll be fine. We can do that next time. And there you have it. A little bit of lemon on top, maybe some soy sauce. That's it. All right, moment of truth. There's the salad. Got the teriyaki jackfruit on top, mixed greens with some greens from the garden, including katuk, which is also known as sweet leaf. And underneath that, I've got some jewels of opar, Cylon spinach, it's got a lot of names. Put a little bit of lime over the top. And let's dig in. A little bit of jackfruit, a little bit of greens. Mmm. That's good. Wow. I would definitely make that again. Let me know what you guys think. If you have a better way of cutting open a young jackfruit, let me know. If you got some other recipe ideas, feel free to link them, subscribe, share, comment, whatever, all that stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you ever get a chance to get a young jackfruit and you're patient, you can get it cleaned up and you can make a really nice little dish out of it. Um, again, teriyaki is just one example. You can make you can make barbecue. You can make curry you can make carnitas whatever you want it's just a it's just like treat it like a pulled pork basically you can do whatever you want hope you enjoy thanks bye